All right, another video of another example. Hopefully this helps a little bit. I'm finding that this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would. So here's a, I've already taken a measurement of my component and now I'm gonna show you how I got the answer. So first of all, um, I've already locked it after measuring. So first it's a two to three inch micrometer and my answer will always start with that first number. In this case it's a two, so there's my two, 2.0. Secondly, I go to the sleeve, come on camera, and I look at how many tenths are showing up to the beginning of the thimble. And there's one, two, three, three tenths. I don't see number four, do I? I only see three. So I'm gonna use that, so that's the last one I can use. I can't use a four because it's, it's underneath here. So it's a three, that's three tenths, so it's a decimal, 0.3. Now, we have to look at the thimble next. Oh, sorry, not yet. Now we look at the number of 0 0.025 inch divisions showing. So we read up to three tenths, right? We were right here. Now I see one full division showing there. There's one full, see I can see the line. There's three, then a space, then a little line. So that little space is worth 25 thou. It's all there, so I can use it. Do you see another full space after that? No, so I can only use that one full division. So that's 0 0.025 inches. There it is in my answer, 0 0.025. Then I go to the thimble. Each one of these is a thousandth of an inch, so there's 10 thou, 11 thou, 12 thou. It's not quite at 13 thou, it's between, it's between 12 and 13 thou, all right? So it's pretty close to 13, but it's not there yet. So you always round down, always. So the last full thou, in this case, is 12 thousandths of an inch, right there, right there. So I add that into my answer. Whoops, I got something else here I gotta show you. Okay, darn it, ignore that, 0 0.012. Okay, now that thing I just crossed out, I'm gonna be putting that down here and I'm gonna show you what that is. So we had 12 thou, but in between each one of these thou, remember I told you there was a little half thou mark in between, so there's, there's 11, 12, 13, so there's 11, 12, 12 and a half, 13, 13 and a half, 14, 14 and a half. So a half thou, what is a half thou worth as a decimal? Because we do have, See, there's, there's the zero line, coming across, coming across, coming across. It's above that half thou, so I have to include that in my answer, that half thou. Half a thou as a decimal is decimal zero, 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 five. And how I got that? Let's change this to the actual numbers here. Let's make this, uh, it's just like the one we're reading. There's our 12th thou, 13th thou. Here's where our uh, zero mark came across, like that. And it was above that half thou. So uh, like I said, I have to include that in my answer. So why is it decimal zero, 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 five? Let's see, there's, there's the space. That's half a thou, half a thou, half a thou. When I take two half thous and add them together, I get one thou, right? Because it's one thou divided by two. So there's how I got, th that's why it's point zero 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 five, because two of those together is worth one. Like that's one thou right there, and I want half of that. So I need that amount right there. And that's what I put into my answer. So let's get rid of that there. Don't want to screw you up. Because I should have had that, then that. So that's the proper order now. Last but not least, because that zero mark did not line up directly in line with one of these on the thimble, we do have to use the vernier scale now. These are ten thousandths of an inch. And what I do is I start with the zero mark. And I say to myself, does that zero mark line up? No. So I don't use it. Does the one line up? No. Don't use it. Does the two line up? No. It's hard to see at the angle here. But the one that lines up directly, when I look above, it's hard to see on the camera, 
but the one that does line up directly is right here, and that's three ten thousandths of an inch. So that is, since it lines up directly with the thimble, and these ones did not, the zero did not, the one did not, the two did not, the three is the first one that does, so we always stop once we hit one that does line up, and it's three ten thousandths. I have to add that into my answer. So three ten thousandths, point zero, 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 three. And it's four decimal places because see when we deal with ten thousandths, four decimal places. So all you do now is add it up. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six steps. That's six steps there. That's a lot of adding, okay? A lot of mentally cal mental calculation in your head, right? So that's why you put it down like this. Make sure the decimal lines up, and then you just add it up. So eight, then we got uh, five, six, seven, two, three, three. So my answer is two decimal, three, three, seven, eight, inches and don't forget the inch symbol in your answer. So that is how we use this micrometer to measure to very precise measurements components on engines and other vehicle parts. It's very important you be as precise as possible because it might mean the difference between a part failing and passing and that could mean saving the customer money or making them have to spend money on something he doesn't even need or she. The only other thing I should show on here, we talked about how, come on camera, focus. We talked about how, what divisions you can use. See, there's that three tenths. There's one full 0 0.025 inch division showing there and then just a tiny bit of a part one. Let me change this and you tell me, and then I want to show you something here. I'm going to bring this till it's at the zero. All right, so right there, let's say it was dead on to the zero. There's our three tenths and there's our full 0 0.025 inch division showing, which we would use because it's all there. What if I move the thimble from 0 down to 24? So now there's the 24 mark there because it lines up directly with that 0 going across. So it's at 24, not at 0. That means this thimble has not gone around a full rotation. And remember, each rotation of the thimble is 25 thousandths of an inch. So what that means is even though to the naked eye, I can still kind of see that vertical little line beside, like there's three tenths, and then it looks like there's a full 0 0.025 inch division there, and I can just, you know, your eye, you would think, you know, I can still see that little vertical line after it, meaning I should be able to use a full 25 thou there in my answer. But because we're only at 24, we have not rotated all the way around to zero. So that means, in reality, even though your eye might say, I see a full 0 0.025 inch division there, we cannot use that because it's only at 24. All right, it hasn't gone all the way around because remember, each time I rotate, there's zero, each time I rotate this around, a full rotation, that exposes 25 thou on the sleeve. So there it's been exposed. Another full 25. I'm going to expose another full 25. There we go again. But if I come back even one thou, just like that, it's no longer exposing that full 25 thou. So in my answer, I cannot use that what I might see with my naked eye. So it's very important you understand that it's not just a matter of using your eye and seeing what you think you see. It's a matter of understanding what these numbers represent on the thimble and the sleeve, or sorry, thimble and sleeve, so you know when you can use that full division that your eye see versus now, boom, I went back to 24, I still see it with my eye, but I will not be putting that 25 thou in my answer. Okay, so if you have questions on that, please talk to me about it. But that, once again, is another example of how to read a vernier imperial micrometer which measures to one ten thousandths of an inch. There's a lot to take in there, so I want you to watch all those videos, and then if you have questions, talk to me.